We're back with John Tartaglia, and as I mentioned, all that hard work finally paid off mm -hmm. in you landing a huge Broadway debut mm -hmm. in Avenue Q. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about how the show came about, how your involvement in the show came about. They called me um, because Rick Lyon, who was the original Trekkie monster, and Nikki, who also built and designed all the puppets for the show, um, recommended me for this young ingenue character. At the time, it was Princeton the Temp, was his name, Princeton the Temp. And um, they said, you know, would you come in and do this reading? And it's going to be like a one night only thing, and we're doing it as kind of a presentation of the Comedy Central people with some invited audience. Something inside of me, I, I believe you have to listen to that little voice. You know, you and I have talked about that many times, you know, about that little voice you have to, you have to trust inside. Sure, your gut. Your gut. Your other person. Yeah, whether it's, if some people call it your, your conscious, voice. whatever it yeah. is, it's, it's, it's that little voice. And that little voice said, do this, do this. And I just, without even thinking, was like, yeah, I'm available. It was like five songs and four little skits. And, and it was me, Rick, Stephanie, and Anne Harada. We were the original cast that had been with it since, literally since day one. So you, you start, you personally, you start with it from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. you, you follow it off Broadway. That you transfer with it to Broadway. Mm -hmm. What were the lessons that you learned as an actor along that process? Um, wow, I think I think I learned a lot about the business. Mm -hmm. um, what specifically? I had never realized that I would be under this microscope in a very different way. Um, at least within the ten blocks of Broadway, mm -hmm. and I didn't really get it until. You're standing in, you know, at a, you're invited to a premiere or you're standing in front of all these photographers and it was really weird. That transition was really, I mean, of course, exciting and, and, and for lack of a better word, sexy and flattering and all these things, but it's scary because all of a sudden it's like people want to know about you. They yeah. want to know your background. I had to deal with coming out. You know, was I going to be gay publicly or not? I mean, all these things that kind of just never even occurred to me, you know, that I'd have to deal with. So how then did hearing your name mm -hmm. being announced for a Tony nomination add to that level of pressure? It's funny, I, that wasn't pressure. It was the whole night that I remember it was a sense of how did we get here? And I remember that in the opening number we, we did One Night Only with Hugh Jackman. And it was like, you know, the Hugh Jackman and the cast of Fiddler and the cast of Boy From Oz and everything. And we kind of came up on this, one of the lips at Radio City Music Hall. I remember it. And I remember I wasn't there. I remember watching it on TV. <laughs> it's like you remember? I was there. Remember? I was right with you. Yeah, you were there. I'm there. <laughs> and I remember Jen and I were down on, on the lift, and you know, like you hear the audience going wild, and, and we, you know, you hear, "Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Hugh Jackman." And it's like, oh my god, it's live. And Jen and I looked at each other. Didn't plan this. It was like at the same time with each other, we both had tears just like pouring out of our eyes, and we both said at the same time, "How did we get here?" And you know, we walked in prepared to lose everything. That's why I think, again, people don't know this. You know, we went in, we were told, you're the little show, you have cursing puppets that drink and have sex. Uh, you're you know, up against Wicked. We're up against Wicked, which, is, which was and is a huge, beautiful musical with, with... Both still running. Both still running, both, both have done very well. And we were unknowns. I mean, there was, there was no sense of, like, you're going to walk away with anything. Mm -hmm. And so, so, which was a great way to walk in. I think when you think you could win, it's yeah. like, and you don't win, it's really disappointing. I mean, there's a little piece of me that was like desperately hoping that oh, maybe... Oh, but you, ha and you have to. You yeah. Have, you have to. If not, then why are you even there? Exactly. And, and for me, I, you know, it's, it's a cliche thing to say, but the, word, the, the saying, it's an honor to be nominated, is so true. I was mm -hmm. like, I'm sitting in Radio City Music Hall with four other amazing people in a category that I never dreamt I'd be in, at least at this point in my life. And so... That was cool. But then when we started winning, winning best book and best score and best, I mean, it was just like. Maybe I, this is a reality. Oh God, we were just, we were messes. Like the fact that not all the pictures we had like bleary eyes from crying is, is funny because we were just, it was, it was such a huge, I don't know. It's like we, it's like we were saying something for, for a smaller show, mm -hmm. for art, for art. I mean, it was really emotional. Do you think Avenue Q paved, paved the way for some of these more obscure musicals that have that have been on Broadway since then, you know, I like to Spring think Awakening so. and Book of Mormon and yeah. uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. I like to think so. I think, I think that we, I think we, we cracked it open a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think we kind of said, well, Broadway doesn't have to be A or B. It could also be C or, or P or Q or X, you know, it could be anything. And, you know, I, 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 who knows, in another season, have we opened the same season as In the Heights, or the mm -hmm. same season as, as Jersey Boys, maybe we wouldn't have won. I think that you know we, we just happened to be 
part of a really interesting season and we were we were lucky i mean ever all the signs pointed to no for us you know so it was it was really a shock i mean literally it was a shock we'll be right back with john tartaglia Thank you.